what is a meta reducer in ngrx and how you can make your own mini store dev tools if your firewall or your company doesn't allow you to download chrome extension hi everyone this is subrat and you are watching fun and futuristic so on this channel you will get to know about the programming languages the framework and all about the algorithm so please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet the meta reducer in ngrx it acts as middleman between your action and your reducer so when you dispatch an action it will go to the meta reducer you do your things and it will return back to the reducer and then the flow will continue and that you all know and you can ask me what's the benefit of our meta reducer like i told in the beginning of the video we can create our own small mini dev tools in in the console obviously and you can use it to wipe out all your store like in case the user is logging out and lot of more benefit depending on the use case so we will go to our code and here i have created a file called reducer.ts and inside that we'll add our meta reducer and reducer so first i'll show you uh, how you can add our reducer and this will be helpful if you have multiple reducer and your app model will look cleaner so for that we can do this so what we are doing here is we have a variable called reducer that is a type of action reducer map and we are passing our state which we are uh, using in our whole series and we are creating our reducer key value pair so if you remember in our previous videos we have used this key value pair in our app module and if i go to our app module so here we have passed our reducer so now we'll go ahead and create our meta reducer so here we'll add a variable called debug meta and which will be a function which will accept an action reducer as a parameter so we'll give that name as a reducer and the re return type of this will also be an action reducer and here we can return our reducer with our logic if you want any so here what we are doing is we are returning our state and action for so what we got from from our action with some state and that we are logging it here and we're re returning back our reducer with the same state and action and the mini dev tools i told you in the beginning of the video is this one so if your firewall is blocking to download any chrome extension or downloading chrome extension is not allowed in your company which is the same case in my company also you can use this to track what action you have dispatched and at that time what was the state now you can export a variable as meta reducer and the type will be meta reducer of our movie state and it will be an array of that and then we can assign that to our debug meta which we have just created we can use our meta reducer inside our app module we'll go to store store module for roots and we'll give our meta reducer so it will re register now if we'll start our application we'll able to see our logs on every action trigger so we'll go to our application and if i'll refresh you can see all our action and state is trigger when we are do doing any operation so for to show you i will add a movie so i will add so as you can see so we got all our state and action here if you expand this one we'll say we have three movie previously and if you go to our redux dev tools the, these are our action and for that action the state means the data in our state we can see it here if this is not available to you you can use the same in here and you can add your own logic to make it pretty cleaner like you don't need your state much more or you don't need the accent to be printed or it depends on you and now you will ask me subrat like if you add this one this will going to print every time into the user and to avoid that we'll use our environment production variable if this is our production environment then we'll return something else I mean assign something else if it is not then we'll put our debug meta so for now I, I will just put null here and we can use our meta reducer in production for a very good scenario and the scenario I think it will be common for for all the application so if the user is logging out then you don't need all those data lying in the state so you can erase all the data 
means remove all the data from your state using your meta reducer. So for that, we'll create a meta reducer and we'll call that as a logout. And here we'll write our logic to remove all our data. So how you can remove all the data from your reducer is if you return undefined in the reducer so that it will going to wipe out all the data. So for that, we need a logout action. So in our movie action, we'll create a action called logout and that will be our create action and will pass as a logout and we'll use this action in our meta reducer here. So we'll check here if our action dot type is equal to our logout action dot type. So if that is same, then we'll return our reducer here and we'll pass our state as undefined and pass the type as init. So what it will do is if you are getting action as logout, so it will set your state as undefined and it will move your action type to init, which is the initial action. So we'll go ahead and use this one. So I'll just change a little bit here. So what it will do is if it's production, it will just going to use our logout meta means only this one. If it is not, then it will going to use our debug meta and the logout meta. So now we need to dispatch our logout action from our component. So for that, we'll go to our app component.html. For now, I'll just add a method here, give the name as logout, and I'll create this method in our app component. And we'll just dispatch our action that is logout action. And now if we'll go to our application and here we'll see we got our method as logout. So if I just press logout, so once the action is dispatched, it will going to wipe out all our data, all our movies, all our user. So you can see here, if I just go ahead and jump to this previous action, so we had the two movies and you may ask me here, we are seeing three movies, but only two movies is displayed here and this will be clear if you have watched uh, the previous video that is about selector if you haven't watched it is a pretty awesome thing to use i will link in the card please go ahead and watch that one so that these things will be clear and if you go to our logout action here again as i told it's wipe out all our data and that's happened due to the help of our meta reducer so this is what our meta reducer is and how you can take the help of meta reducer to make our development easy or to wipe out means to remove all the data in certain action. So that's it for today. Today we saw what is a meta reducer and how we can use that to manipulate the data between your action and your reducer. You can manipulate the data, you can log it, you can use for your own application point of view, delete all the data on certain action like the logout we just saw. So please hit the like button if you're liking the video till now. Please do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will not miss future videos. And please share this video among your friends, family, colleague and let them know how they can use the meta reducer to improve their application as well as reduce stress from their life. And please give some valuable comment in the comment section below. Those are pretty helpful. We're going to meet in the next video. Till that, stay happy. Bye-bye.